September with the weekend video and uh, Saturday the 6th of October. I'll start with the Dow this morning. Um, saw quite a sharp sell-off last week, or the last couple of days, uh, but did quite a decent bounce into the close. Um, just a quick look at what's happened initially. We saw this peak back in January, a uh, big fall, an A wave of triangle, uh, possible B there, possible C there, D and E. Um, However, we then got this ABC move here, which could be part of a sort of enhanced triangle, perhaps uh, with the E wave to there. Um, and then started to go up um, and retest here. In fact, if you move this line, which I'll just do that, draw it on the chart, uh, put this line in, uh, into that high, then you pretty much catch that uh, retracement, but uh, obviously no other support, but certainly for that, that peak, and that trough, that line is quite useful. Um, wave counts, I mean, this is a breakout here, I suppose, or this is a retest. Uh, there's no real clarity, I guess that could be a one. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, perhaps. Wave two, one, two, three, four, five. So that would then count this as a fourth wave. Let's have a look at the action in the shorter term. This is the 30 minute chart. Um, this looks fairly corrective, really. A, B, C, uh, maybe a B wave to there, followed by another A, B, C. I mean, it's now October. The Xmas rally, I think, will probably be seen this year. Uh, markets like to set the scene for that by falling a bit beforehand, so I think this is still a corrective sell off. Uh, I, I would anticipate seeing higher prices into the new year. But there's so much risk in the system, and it's not a big call. And the big call service is about tr large trends. Um, I can clearly this is a large trend, but it's the end of a large trend. I don't, I don't really see that the risk reward on, on equities at this point is, is a good bet um, in that sense. I mean, short term trade obviously is a different, uh, different kettle of fish. Uh, whether this is a key, a key low, I don't know at this point. It depends what happens next week. All right, well, a similar pattern on the DAX at the beginning of the year. We saw this uh, big sell off. Which is, Looks like wave A of a triangle, wave B, big A, B, C, wave C. Uh, I still think the most likely outcome here is an A, B, C up to the up to that triangle. Uh, to wave create wave D. Um, but let's have a look at the short term action again here. Right, on Thursday, I did my last report. We had this decent spike, buying spike there. So we saw a false break below the um, that, that these two lows here. Um, and a solid buying response, which thrust up the market. That, that, looked, that looked pretty positive. In the event it's failed, um, and I think the I think the pattern here is best counted as an A, B, A, A, B, C, A wave, B, C. So there's a potential low there, but again, it rather depends on what happens next. Uh, no, no real change of opinion. I think I think the DAX looks looks due to hit the upper, upper trend line, but um, clearly the uh, uh, this decline could go further first. You, know, you might want to retest even the lower parameter of the triangle first. All right, FTSE since the peak um, back in May, it's clear A, B, C move uh, down to there. Uh, looks like a one, two, and then a one. Two, three, four, five. So I think this is going to be a fourth wave, but clearly not a fourth wave anymore. It's uh, gone far too far. So this could be new and positive action on FTSE, in fact. Um, or it could be a B wave, before we say C wave rally. Maybe we're seeing a bigger A, B, C here. Um, so maybe we're going to see a Christmas rally, but that, that might be just before a C wave decline on FTSE. Uh, but again, I th right now, there's no evidence we're going to see a, a continued decline at this point. All right, gold, no real change of opinion here. I mean, this this five wave advance could be a wave A, this could be a wave B. So that would still allow for new highs for gold of this peak here, but we do need a, a decent thrust to convince this is actually an impulsive move. Um, I, I, think, I think gold will have its day next year, whether it's actually seen the low yet, I'm not absolutely sure now. That we, we just need a more convincing rally, really, and we're just not seeing that at the moment. All right, Bitcoin, um, just going sideways, so no change of opinion here. It could go either way at this point. A break into the 5,000s would, would clear the air. 
um, and we could see a decent move from that point. Uh, people are saying that uh, November and December are often good months for cryptos, so I thought it might be useful to look at this chart going back a few years to see whether that's uh, the case. Right, only three years of data on this chart, it's not ideal, but uh, clearly from there to there it was up, that's 2015. Um, 2016, again, uh, pretty much all upwards, and of course last year was a spectacular, <laughs> a spectacular advance, um, and we've yet to actually go back uh, below the lows of the uh, the action, I think in November um, 2017. So yeah, sorry, 2000s, yeah, 2017. Um, so all this decline, all it's done is eradicate the gain seen in one month, December 2017. Having said that, this chart's pretty positive for most months, so I'm not sure it's terribly in indicative, but certainly in previous years, um, the last couple of months of the year have been pretty pretty positive, with the last years being spectacular. Um, I mean, certainly the decline we've seen looks corrective, um, although of course I suppose you could argue it's an A, B, some sort of a B wave triangle, and another leg down, which uh, wouldn't be too... Well, Will certainly upset a lot of people, I think. Um, anyway, right right now, uh, I'm, I'm anticipating support in, in the 5,000 area uh, if it goes down that way. And uh, uh, I think we may well see some kind of resolution in the next couple of months on the, on the cryptos. Right, that's all for today. Hope that interests you. I'll back to the report on uh, Tuesday morning for subscribers. Have a great weekend. Thanks for listening, and bye for now.